point now, we don't know what's causing it. Nearly half of Cassegrain's hazmat team have elevated levels of arsenic in their system. Six of seven affected stationed at Firehouse 504. That was our immediate concern was that something in the station was doing this. Chief Keene put the team here on bottled water and paid for an independent lab to test the tap water. The results came back clean. Now he's trying to find the link between the firefighters. We're doing some, I guess for lack of a better term, contact tracing. And what we're doing is compiling a spreadsheet to see if maybe they all live, if there's some sort of commonality. Maybe they all live in the same area. Keen says the first responders never got sick or even knew they had it, only found out from the annual heavy metals test. These aren't levels that are threatening that's going to kill anybody. We don't have to rush anybody to the emergency room over this. But according to Dr. Shad Mavarsti, just because they aren't experiencing symptoms now doesn't mean it can't lead to a much more serious health complication. Arsenic is a known carcinogenic, so it can actually increase the risk for a number of cancers, bladder cancer, blood cancer, liver cancer, lung cancer, lymphoma. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's something that definitely needs to be addressed. Dr. Mavarsi says it is imperative to find the source of the elevated levels of arsenic to limit exposure. The water company's levels are normal. The Department of Environmental Quality confirmed it through the last testing. Like I said, at this point, it's a little bit of a mystery. The situation in Casa Grande is unique. Morena and Maricopa's fire departments, which is similar in size, told Arizona's family that none of their hazmat crew reported elevated levels of arsenic in their last test. We're going to work with the employees to try to figure out what the issue is. I don't know if we'll ever know. The chief says those firefighters who tested for arsenic will be retested in 30 days. We'll keep you updated here and on our AZ Family News app. In Casa Grande, I'm David Coltibiano for Arizona's Family.